Hey guys, this is Joshua at Terraforma369. Today I'm going to show you an experimental jet stove that I'm making out of a hair mousse can. This is the top of the can and the bottom of the can. First, I used steel wool to remove the paint, I remove the top, remove the bottom, flange the top, crimp the bottom so they fit perfect. drilled four one-quarter inch holes along the bottom, drilled two one-sixteenth inch holes in between each of those for a total of six of those. That's the airway. This is a passive air induction system by the way. The inner wall, as this is a two-wall system, is made of an axe body spray can, the small pocket size type, drilled holes, top two rows are same number but staggered, and the third row has the same number as each of those rows individually but cut in half. On the inside is the same as you would find on the inside of my version of Zelf's Starlight Stove loose fiberglass, fiberglass tape, stainless steel mesh, and here I have a stainless steel rod in the middle to act as hopefully a catalyzer. Then you have this, which is the door and handle for adjusting the flame. This is the bottom of a vegetable can that I cut down a little bit to act as both a primer pan retention plate for the adjuster arm. And this is how it comes together. I'm not going to pull this all the way down when I get ready to JB weld around that joint. I will press it all the way to where the inner wall hits the top lip here. Okay. That's what it looks like when it's fully assembled. This arm, when it closes off like that, the flame that you'll see that will be produced will be the quality you're looking for to go ahead and bake or simmer. But varying degrees of opening it up, and I'm going to show you all four, increases the flame, increases the flame output, and I'd like to get some opinions on uh, what you guys think of this. Be right back with an actual flame test. Alright, this is what it looks like fully assembled. You can see the adjustment arm primer plate, there's your intake, and then there's everything on the inside. Sorry if it's a little fuzzy, this camera was cheap. We're going to do a burn test on a half ounce of denatured alcohol. up you'll see the jet action that's why I gave it its name of a jet stove it starts out a little orange it will turn solid blue now this is about the height and power that this thing reaches if you listen you can hear a humming sound coming from it That's the 
air going up the sides. That's it on high. I'm just going to use chopsticks here to do this. That's it on low. A suitable small flame for, say, baking. If you want to simmer. Let's give it a little more. That's just it saying it once. That sputtering you saw is something I do see every now and then and I'm not quite sure why it happens. I think it's when the stove gets a little too warm and there's more evaporation of alcohol than air movement. But as you can see, it can maintain this rather nice jet flame. Any input guys, I'm thinking about painting it black on the outside to help heat the air more and getting more of an air intake. Whatever input you guys have, I'm open. I haven't seen anything quite like it on the internet so I think it's a rather unique thing. I don't know, the Japanese are making things and then there's that feather fire stove it's adjustable but anyway I just got bored and made this yesterday catch you guys later peace